So how do I create a resume that's scannable? Is there a template or a process to follow? Yes, well, I can keep you busy for that uh, for hours. But yeah, um, try and steer clear of um, shading. Never have any graphics um, and have uh, circles or squares as the bullet. Only have one block of text of four lines or more and the rest needs to be three lines. There's a lot more. It's a, it's a, it's a format. You can never mess around with a computer but you can at least uh, try and match a computer. I know I've been on endless courses to try and match a computer. So I can more than happy to give you that free resume critique because uh, I will go through it with a tooth comb with you at the other end and talk about what is not scannable and what is scannable. So you will benefit a lot. Functional versus chronological format or a mixture of both. Are three different types of resumes or the main types. So there is a functional, which is a skills-based resume. I used to write them many, many years ago. I don't write them uh, anymore because uh, instantly a functional resume, a skills-based resume uh, in the human mind um, plants a seed that you've been unemployed in career transition for over 18 months. You don't want to do that. You want to uh, wow them straight away. So uh, so uh, don't have a functional. Then there's the reverse chronological, but the resume of today is called the combination. It's a combination of those both. So it's the projective. So remember the word profile and objective. That's what I call it, the top part, but don't put that term there. It's the top part which sells you. It contains the directive, so where you want to go generically, so senior finance leader, and then it includes your personal brand, that's your unique promise of value, and then a uh, summary of your soft skills. So I put in there what one word would describe you, your leadership style, your communication style, and what you're renowned for business-wise. Don't clash with personal brand. So, the, uh, and then you have your, uh, your keywords and a maximum of 20, preferably 18. So that's what makes it um, uh, scannable, uh, a combination. You have to have a combination today and that's the resume of choice that everybody or CV of choice anywhere in the world is looking for. Not a functional and not a reverse chronological because reverse chronological don't have any of the format that uh, the uh, ATS is requiring. Where do you place the keywords in the resume? Thank you. Uh, where do you place them? So I would place them in the top third, and then you can also repeat them somewhere in the body of the text. So the more keywords you get in there, the more you're going to be picked up. But don't do, don't really um, have a hundred uh, uh, FPNAs or MDNAs or um, market segmentation or B two B marketing or whatever. Keep it, be liberal and don't always bold them. Some people bold everything and bolding is not, uh, you can use it but uh, liberally, but don't use it all the time. Bolding is created in word processes to emphasize something, but you don't want to consistently emphasize it. Uh, which online ATS applicants uh, would you advise contest C? Ah, yeah. So that's a great question. There are a lot of um, questionable um, free applications that people have uh, have uh, created out there where you feed your resume into that application and then it gives you a rating. And you may feed it into one and it will give you a 97% ATS scannable. You feed the exact same document into another one and you get 55 May I suggest you send it to me and I'll, I'll tell you whether it's scannable rather than go through those questionable uh, applications. So uh, send it to me. Where do you suggest to find effective keywords on your industry? Perfect question. Thank you, Carol. 
Okay, so on my website, www.aneliteresume.com, I have free ebooks. So you can download uh, many functional based keywords. So they've up they've been updated. So it's marketing, finance, supply chain, logistics. I believe there are 35, 36 different functions in there. And while you're on there, go and download for free the um, uh, the action verbs because uh, I try never to repeat action verbs. I see in sales um, resumes the word increased, 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 increased. How boring. Why don't you use the word catapult? Why don't you use the word propelled, elevated, uplifted, boosted? The English language is there for you to use. And you, by using different ver action verbs, there again, you're increasing your impact with the reader at the other end. So try and use the action verbs. So two ebooks for free. And then I also have um, this book. This is a 997 investment, got $9.97, but it looks after number one, you, about tips and tricks to recession proof your career. So many people have made wonderful comments on this uh, on this ebook. For $9.97, you can get all that I've been talking about and a lot more. So I would suggest you go to my website, www.aneliteresume dot com and download this book plus download the keywords and the action verbs and there are as also an ebook on resume tips